Hello and welcome to program 19 in the series of tutorials and programs that focus on TradeStation Easy Language. If you're not part of our email list, then please go to markplex.com. That's M A R K P L E X dot com, and I will be happy to let you know when I release new tutorials or programs. Today's program, which is available as an unprotected download for TradeStation version 9, builds on some work we did a while back as a tutorial which looked at creating a box. And uh, if you look at the screen here, you'll see the box. And this is how it first appears when you apply the indicator to a chart. It pushes it or it puts it in the middle of the screen. And then the purpose of the box, uh, which you can see you've got the various upper, lower, right and left lines, and you've got the price of the top line indicated there, price of the bottom line indicated there and the time. But what we can do is actually move these lines around. And as we do that, you'll see that the other lines move accordingly. So the only thing we can't do is move the, the bottom line above the top line. If we do that, it just clicks back to its original position. Similarly, we can't move the top line below the bottom line because it just clicks back to its uh, position. And similarly for the, the right and the left lines. What I've also done is built into this some alerts so if we were to move this to get close to the price action what we should see uh, is when the line goes over the or rather when the close of a particular bar goes over those uh, either the upper the lower or the right hand line then you will get an alert other things to uh, to notice about this which incidentally i've tested on minute daily, weekly, monthly charts. Um, the only problem with uh, tick charts is oftentimes you'll find that a uh, several bars share the same time. And of course, drawing objects in TradeStation, at least at the moment, uh, May 2011, really uh, need a date and a time to draw. So you can get problems with, with tick charts, but uh, this work, works fine on minute charts and above. In fact, any, any chart really where you've got specific disparate times for different bars. But uh, if you wanted to reapply this, the best way of doing it is to go Format, Analysis Techniques, change the status to off, then back on again, and then you'll see the, uh, the box appear right in the middle of the, uh, the chart. And similarly, for example, if we wanted to go to, say, monthly, a monthly chart, what we would do is we would then go Format, Analysis Techniques, change status off and on and then when we come back we'll see the box in the middle of the chart there so let's just go back to the minute charts and again we're going to go format analysis techniques status on status or rather status off status on that we can see the uh, the line so the purpose of the uh, the the tutorial are really to demonstrate uh, several programming techniques including being able to keep track of where lines are programmatically from uh, and taking when a, a user moves the line to know where they are at any one moment. What I've also done is use some of the new program uh, TradeStation 9 techniques to make sure that this box will update almost immediately rather than just waiting for a, a tick in the price. And uh, you can see the price just going over there we've got an alert you may not see that but uh, it's at uh, 1.6.2269 and uh, if we were to go to the alert box we should see the latest one there and there it is 1.62212 or rather um, sorry it's the top 1.62269 at the top there and uh, in order to change the alerts, incidentally, you would go Format, Analysis Techniques, and you would change the settings here. I've got it currently set to Alert once per bar and uh, using custom settings, as you can see there. Incidentally, the uh, inputs look fairly uh, ferocious there. What, these are the inputs that are necessary to position the box. 
and uh, that might be something that you might find useful in some of your techniques you could also just put in your own dates and times and values there if you wish to and uh, just be careful but if you press default then you're going to lose the this uh, this code here which could be quite useful the other thing that you can change in the inputs are the colors of the lines i've just got them set at the moment as red yellow uh, green and cyan anyway uh, i hope you might find this program useful uh, it is as i say available for download as unprotected code and uh, this will only work on TradeStation 9. Anyway, thanks again. If you're not part of the, M the uh, Markplex email list, then please go to markplex.com and uh, I will let you know when I release new tutorials or programs. Thank you.